So we will be playing with Emily. Okay, so this seems to be working quite like in, in the first playthrough. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. <laughs> Stay here. This must be older than Dorsetto. They've built the house around it. Wait, no! Ah, this Excuse guy. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Okay, it's, it's Don't you worry, Max. Continuing. I'll find that little rascal. Like Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. <laughs> my name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. <laughs> Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. Thank you. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. So we need the piece for that. And we got the uh, key later. That's his diary. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold. So this this had like lots of Okay. You found the key. I found a commonplace book. What's that? A notebook with all kinds of stuff in it? Do you know a place called Tarawea? Never heard of it. Is it close? I've no idea. Just seems like it was a place Jeremy wanted to visit. Good to know. Have you ever seen anything like this? Hmm. Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one.
I found this tube as well. It should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. <laughs> Detective Carnby? W where did... Shoot like three times. Okay, then four or five. What the hell was that thing? And she has seven bullets, but if they are lo like low powered, uh, she can just kill one monster with the bullets. Bullets that are in the, in the magazine, so I think now we can run. Run away, run away, run away. This can't be. gun being less powered is slightly odd because they should be like same caliber. Cali oh no! Emily? Is that you? Okay, they knew each other. Batiste? How'd you get here? I was back at Dorsetto. Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle? I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. Truer words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. Okay, what's her I'm sorry, Miss background? Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. I locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. <laughs> he, he wasn't that forward with, with the uh, current B in the previous game. But these keys.
Are you staying here? For a while. Want to see if Jeremy shows up. Ah, it, it was burning. <laughs> I missed. Oh no. Burn, baby, burn. Five bullets. Nice. That was lucky. <sighs> this must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. You mean the one on the table? It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. For the number combination uh, schematics in your inventory. Okay, so this is kind of t tutorial basically. Three, uh, five, eight. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Now it works. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm <laughs> very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. Okay, he, he has not treated really other, oh, other members of case, the seat. family. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Huh. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. Uh-huh. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. 
What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man, depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the Dark Man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's... supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you... Well, ask any you doctor that about that. experience death. supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. <laughs> no more You wouldn't want to take your alcohol. uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Up. Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. Okay, that that was brilliant. But yeah. Okay, this, this was interesting. Totally different from the... Carnby's discussion. And we are, we are playing quite of, quite, quite fast Detective because Carnby. this is second part God, time. I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. This is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. So take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down and smoke <laughs> some of the Perique? If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. Okay, that's how they met. Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Okay, niece. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Is that Perrick you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so, but I like it. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Okay, interesting. Is it all that you hope for? <laughs> I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am, then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. 
Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. Meh. <laughs> okay. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. <laughs> bon voyage. Emily felt surprised by how much she enjoyed the company of Ruth. There was something familiar and friendly about her, like they were old friends that simply forgot about each other. Lost Plantations of Louisiana Now this will come in handy. Okay, so is this because this is second playthrough is or is this something that she finds at the start? It's wet shot. Psychotic episode. Everything's back to normal. She's doing here something. Voodoo? What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetto is cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out. Sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Hartwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gombo. I hope he hope she washes her hands. Okay, so that's that's who buried the cat. There was something in the commonplace book about this. Yeah, sure, let's let's check check the book. So 
so here it is. Okay, so this actually seems to be uh, in the wrong place. And... This might be a totally wrong place. And... Okay, now it works. Did it break? The clock just stopped. Six, three, four. outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? Emily deserved a sense of triumph, but she was too on edge to appreciate her success. There was no reasonable explanation why the talisman let her open up this other world. Was this really happening, or was this somehow all in her mind? There was no time to question her own sanity. She had to find Jeremy. If he was here, she thought. Would she find Jeremy in the hateful mound? Hateful mound. Yep. I Welcome to the Louisiana. Opened up another dream. <laughs> Weird tales. This this always gets me. Unique magazine. And auto save. And when the game auto saves, you know that there's com something to coming coming up next. Yep. Okay. It's dead. Okay. So what? Shall we do? I was thinking that the style looks uh, like something out of Love Lovecraft world. Well, this is <laughs> Lovecraftian world. So. Burn, baby, burn. Don't mind me, I'm just testing. Yeah, that's that's good. We always need people who test. Get the second of second monster. Just as like I was reloading. Every time. Okay, that's a uh, spillage. <laughs> okay. 
Doesn't feel so safe anymore. Let's go. Did the uh, Final Fantasy come through? I did. I didn't see or hear it. Uh, apparently, no. No, it 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 didn't come through because there's like no channel points that are uh, used. I'm I'm looking at the sound last dashboard here, and it's it's Leroy Jenkins is the last one you played. But sometimes, sometimes it, it can take the commands and sometimes it doesn't. So it's... it's um, we can't do anything about if sound alerts is lagging or stuff like that. Nice swamp. No. What the hell is that? Okay, that's a big, big thing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Je Jeremy has weird dreams. Weird, weird and dangerous, or are these his memories? Not, not sure, but somehow this is like a dream, dreamland. Actually, uh, uh, about L HP Lovecraft D dreamlands, I, I did game master a game like yesterday, Wednesday, where the my my players actually went to the dreamlands, and it was totally, totally Lovecraftian experience. It's the hateful mound Jeremy mentioned in his book. Hateful mound. Sounds nice. How hateful it is. Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your... <gasps> Mrs. Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? <laughs> okay. Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother, Batiste, earlier. I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. He spread out <laughs> lay, lay, Laying on the... Can I have this? Skeleton. I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine. Believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. Oh no. We have to leave. Before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. That was quick exit. Oh, god damn my uh, soul. The seed went a bit differently with the, with the carving. <sighs> I'm back at Dorsetto. The dream of the grave under the chenier suddenly vanished, and Emily found herself back at Dorsetto. Instead of Jeremy, she found Lottie, 
who just like her brother Baptiste reminded her of John who died so bravely in the war. Okay. She pushed her painful memories out of her mind and returned to her investigation. She still needed to figure out what to do with the boiler. So we need to circle. Magazine, so well, that was violent. <laughs> 